guys, you know, you guys seem to be getting on really, really, really well. You know, I should say to those who don't know, we are delighted to be joined by only fan sensation, TikTok sensation, Kelly Slaza. Kelly, you're currently on holiday in Bali, well, Australia via Bali. Um, mm-hmm. We should probably say, how's the trip been? Have you been behaving yourself? I know it's um, one of Archie's favorite places to holiday. Um, I've been very naughty. Honestly, I actually think I've slept with someone almost every night that I've been here. Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> wow, that's yeah. incredible. Really? Who, who's been the that's best? That's bloody good business. That's, that's really bloody good. in my book. Oh. That's bloody good business. That is good business. Yeah, who, it's good who, business. Who, who, who's been what, the best? What's been the best night? Yeah. Well, there's been many. Like I've had a foursome, but like the best one, right. I think it was so good. But I got post nut clarity, like like very much afterwards, and I had to kick him out because basically we were having sex. And like, obviously I bought my dildos with me because like, you know, I just had a bag of dildos and um, I was so drunk. We were having sex and I was like, why don't you just stick one of these big ones in my ass at the same time? So we were, do- <laughs> so we were doing it. And then like afterwards, I was like, that was very embarrassing. Like how horny I was, you know, you ever get that where like you just. You, you ever get that, so Archie? Horny. Yeah. Well, I, at boarding school, there were things <laughs> that happened like that. Very similar <laughs> with a hockey stick. Jesus, that's nice. yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, you've got to imagine, you know, you're in a, a boarding, you know, dorm room with, you know, 13 rather rumbunctious uh, men. Testosterone and, field. You know, yeah. No female in sight. And, you know, uh, someone has to play the role of the, the lady <laughs> or the man in this day and age. But um, we, we, we just played a game of pogs and the loser had to uh, go into the, the shower room, turn the lights off and... Uh, presume the position, and then everyone would take it in turns. Wow, that is oh, scarred, very scarred, nice. scarred yeah. by the experience, or no, no, it's, memories. it's character building. Oh, I think you know, my dad always said to me, going to boarding school at the age of seven, it'll build up your character, boy. And I, I haven't cried in years. It's well, that's lovely. Good. Well, um, Kelly, we should say that the man who sort of made this happen, the great middleman himself, was your incredible oh, yeah. shared dentist, Dr. Steersy. Um, let's hear your thoughts on the great man. I mean, wonderful dentist, clearly, you both got an amazing sets of teeth now. Yeah, can we have a teeth? I love him. Yeah, uh, that is that's phenomenal teeth. Yeah, Steersy. I named him Steersy to be honest. And... Yeah, when you said to me, "Oh, good old Steersy," I was like, "Oh right, so we're on nickname basis." Yeah, oh. that's that's what I nicknamed him ages ago. I don't know, Kelly. You probably you didn't probably follow me, but many years ago, one of the uh, key points people used to abuse me for is my teeth. They said they looked like they, my teeth looked like they went to state school, <laughs> and um, uh, and then I went to Stizzy, and now they are they do the business. They're, they're now exceptional. people have started oh, saying yeah. that I look like a rat because of my nose, but I'm not changing my nose. I'm not changing my nose. <laughs> I'm very happy looking this way. Someone actually wrote to me the other day and said I look like a posh Dean Gaffney, and I said, "Fine, <laughs> that guy kills it with the birds, so yeah. fine." You look like the guy from um, the Wild Thornberries. You know who that is. Uh, I'm guessing he's a very handsome man. Oh, yeah. I'd definitely yeah. give him one. Yeah. Oh, Brilliant. my God. Brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm blushing here. Well, you are. You're getting a bit ill. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kelly, obviously, you know, you've become famous on many different platforms, but you, you sort of became famous initially. You found fame for recommending that ladies shouldn't hold back on, uh, you know, having sex on first dates. Um, so quick one, Arch, I know you're trying to get back into the world of dating. Yeah. You've obviously had the baby recently. Have you ever had to, you, you come on, let's be honest, you haven't seen a lady apart from that one night stand where you had a baby, but have you, have you ever had sex on a first date bar that? Uh, yeah, many a time, many a time. Right. I don't want to go into too much detail, but you know, sometimes one thing leads to another, you know, I, uh, I'm sure, you know, you imagine sat at a you know, table across from me in the net, I'm wearing my suit and tie. Um, and I just, you know, I'm, I'm sort of counting my cash in my money clip. It's quite an attractive sight. But can it like what? Where did that come from? How come you sort of sort of? Why did you feel the need to tell women that? I mean, it's brilliant. I'm all for the empowerment oh, of, uh, you, yeah. of 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 women. Yeah. Well, please, can you tell more who go to Inferno? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Is because like so so many of my friends, they'd be like, no, I've got to hold out to the third date, but like because I need them to respect me. But they get to the third date, they'd have sex anyway. And then they ghost some men. So you might as well just do it on the third date. No, the first date, like get it out of the way. Because by the third date, you might be in love with them and then you're upset. But by the first, you're just like, oh, right, okay, at least I've got something you're out of it. Yeah. That, is, that is brilliant thought process because when I found a girl that I really liked, I would just book in a date Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Just get to Wednesday. <laughs> and I know it'd be done. But, you know, that that's, makes a lot of sense. 
Lewis Sanders. But, but Archie, what age were you when you lost your virginity? And also Kelly as well. Uh, well, what, which which one? My snogging, my boarding school, or my female? <laughs> you mean? Uh, well, it's a it's a difficult story, and oh, uh, certainly we'll probably understand this. But I I dated a girl when I was fourteen. We were very much in love. We'd already planned to. Uh, you know, buy a house in London, then buy a holiday house in Portugal, oh, and we were then going to buy. Uh, you know, five years from there, we we're going to move to Surrey, have a flat in London, uh, have three children: um, Isabella, um, Saint John, and Oops. which is a very famous name, yeah. and um, uh, uh, Hector. <laughs> And um and but unfortunately I thought we were having sex the the whole time we were doing it but I didn't really understand the anatomy of women so I was just putting it she used to put her legs very tight together and then I would uh, I just thought that was her you know yeah. her you know her, her, vagina. her vagina and it was I was just actually just making love to her legs <laughs> right so it wasn't till about <laughs> eighteen that uh, when yep. I met an older woman she explained everything to me. So 18, really. 18. But I mean, I tell a lot of the guys when I'm around in the rugby club, I say like 14, 13, because yeah, that's just that's seriously good. good banter. It basically was, you know, what's the difference between a thigh and a vagina after all? Um, there isn't much, <laughs> to be honest. I've studied biology. Uh, what about you, Kelly? Uh, I was about 14 and I was going out with like the hottest guy in the, in the school in the year above. So I was like, oh, when are you going to like make me your girl? When are you going to actually make me your girlfriend? And he was like, well, we've got to have sex first. So we had sex. Uh, and I was like, so can I be a girlfriend? Yeah. And then he broke up with me like two days later. So. Oh, God. Wow. Good memories. You know? into it. Have you have you always like um, been very sexual? Yes, always. Like even at school, that's why people would call me the sluzzer because I was just going around, getting fingered, yeah. doing all sorts. God, just, you must just be very popular. Spin the bottle was the game. The, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I still play it. Still play it. Do you? you still play it, don't you? Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. If I get, if I'm round in my house with a couple of rubby boys, there's, there's three rubby boys and one girl. We just need one <laughs> you girl. You take your chances. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I take my chances. Yeah. Good, uh, good odds there. Uh, Archie, obviously, we're getting towards Christmas. Hopefully, are you going to be back in time for Christmas? No, I won't. I'm out here. Okay. Well, how come you are out in Australia? What made you go out there? Well, I was in Bali and then I, I had loads of sex with Australians and I thought, God, better get over there. Yeah, you know, get, better carry it on. Uh, 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 did you see any of the Maiden Chelsea crew in Bali? Because um, I, I have a... didn't. Actually, I saw Lottie Moss from far. Wow. That, yeah. That's it. Yeah. She is, seems like a very well rounded character. Love you, Lenny. What I can tell. Love you, Lenny. Um, she looks like she has had, you know, she looks like she's all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks like she's, she's very smart. Yeah. Um, Kelly, you obviously, uh, you know, out there for Christmas coming back, you're hoping to go see your dad. Obviously, Archie's got some quite well publicized issues with his father. Fingers crossed. Um, I know that you also had spoken about, I mean, daddy issues in the past. Um, and it's sort of, you know, actually quite an emotion, emotional thing. I know your father passed away when you were younger, quite sad. But ultimately, is there a way to use that bracket of daddy issues to attract more? young fans is that like a thing or is it more just something you talk about for you know emotional uh connection uh i think it's like it's it can be Strange quite funny question. as well very good on there yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite i think it's like it's funny like it's just a saying like oh, i've got oh, i've got daddy issues i think it can be emotional as well like you know it's a bit annoying but um but i think yeah i think it's like funny well Let's hear about OnlyFans because we, you know, obviously you're making quite a quite a bit of cash each on that. I've got to go yeah. back to that question. Sorry, that was a very bizarre question. Well, it was a you, it was, for me. You are a young Piers Morgan. It was a daddy issue you question. Had a chance one time you've been going on about this for two weeks yeah. to get you know Kaylee on. Well, no, it was a daddy issue and question. Bring up her dad died. I mean, well, no, that no, is it wasn't one about way her... to, the one way to take this interview south. It wasn't about her father passing away. It was about you both having daddy issues and you're both beautiful people. Anyway, let's hear about OnlyFans because you were worried about going on it at first, you know, rightly so. I know you were looking at it when Chris Robshaw went on about a year ago, yeah. but you couldn't still work out what... About it. Still thinking about yeah. it. So so just tell us, you know, the whole experience since you decided to go on it. How's it all gone? You know, are you making some serious cash? Yeah, I'd say I'm making serious coin. Just give, um, an in <laughs> give an insight. Serious coin. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Like I love it. I think there's all my friends even say that like there's like there's no better job for you. It's just amazing. Um, I enjoy it. I get some weird requests sometimes. Um, and I do sit here. I'm like, what is what is my life? Like the other night, I was sitting here and this guy 
sent me this like link and you click through it and with your mouse you go up and down which changes the vibrations of the dildo that he's got in his ass while he's wow. wanking that so, is, that's exceptional technology just, just <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, I think a lot of people i mean I, I have to say uh you have got the three c's you've got a great chat phenomenal chassis and obviously making a lot of coin now congratulations uh you certainly fit well <laughs> in clapham um just tell us i mean how does that decision come about what what does it involve? Because I'm sure people will be very interested. I'm certainly am interested, and how it all all goes. I might, it might yeah. sound very boring, but I think people will generally be interested. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about doing something like this like for a long time. Like I actually love watching porn, and I just was like, you know, I feel like this could be the right thing for me. Eventually, I was like, I had a couple of friends that did it, and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. So I made their account. Um, and it basically just like day to day, people message you on there, like the subscribers, you can just have a normal chat. Like, you know, what did you have for dinner? Some people just get a bit lonely, but some people are like, um, you know, would you let me piss in your mouth kind of thing? Um, and then you, <laughs> then like people request like, oh, can, um, you know, can you make a video of like you moaning my name, like, well, on like a dildo or something, or you'll get like, they'll pay extra for that. Oh, they'll pay extra. Like they'll pay up to like two hundred pounds or something Jesus for like Christ. that. Yeah, like wow. like a two minute video. That's why you took uh, your bag of dildos with you because you want to be making money on holidays. Yes, that's why it's right here. Oh my god, there she is! Oh, hold on, hold on, bring that back out. I think I know that. That looks very They're like yours. Like, no, it looks like a guy called Patrick Curtis who went to boarding <laughs> school with. But that, oh. yeah, yeah, very interesting, very familiar. I, I, it's one of those things that I know. I can tell. All the rugby guy, all the, my rugby team, if I didn't see their face or anything else, just their penis, I'd know exactly who it is. That's an amazing skill. Yeah. She's getting master. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't know how to, maybe I'll, um, yeah, I don't know how to monetize that. But carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah, so people can request things or I send out videos all the time of like me, I don't know, finger myself or like cum shot pictures. Like when I sleep with someone, I'm like, make sure it's on my face so I can take a picture. Um, or, or I'm like, a lot of people ask for dick ratings. That's a huge thing. So they'll send you a picture of your of their dick and they'll pay you to rate it out of 10. Maybe we should do that, Archie. Arch, do you think you should? You, maybe you could do that. That sounds like- You've obviously going, seen I... a lot of dicks in time, so. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy to- you can I'm, as well. It sounds like you're very busy. So if you want to delegate, I could be your number <laughs> two. And I, you know, for a small fee, I could just come back to you with some notes on them. Because I'm I'm very good on the penis inspection. I I, I can tell a good penis. Yeah. When so, 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 so Kelly, are the guys- who are sleeping with you in Bali? Are they aware of your work as Candy Stars? I mean, you've got, what is it, a quarter of a million followers on TikTok or something like that? I mean, are people aware yeah. of you who sleep with you in Bali? Or is it just like random and then suddenly you're saying to them, by the way, you have to take a photo of you coming in my face because I need to use this for further business down the line? Yeah, I think most of them know because like some point throughout the night, they'll be like, oh, what's your Instagram? And I give it to them and they can tell. Yeah, um, nice. But or I'll just I, or I will just be like, oh, I'll get them in the bedroom. By the way, I do OnlyFans. And they're like, oh, right. OK, I'm ready for a bit for a big one or something. Wow, God, that sounds <laughs> amazing. Here's, here's another question, because obviously I don't know how much I don't know how much, you know, but obviously I've got over 70,000 fans on on Instagram. And I, you know, obviously when I'm at Clapham, I'm getting inundated, you know, with can you do a video for my mate just delivering chat? Uh, and, you know, I'll do it for a small fee. But um, if people know you, does that make it a bit weird that guys approach you thinking that they probably, they think they've got a chance? And does that, how do you, is there blurred lines? Because I guess some guys would see you here, they rate themselves, they've got a great chef, they're wearing a great V-neck T-shirt, mm. and they walk up to you thinking, you know, she's up for it. And then you have to say, no, 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 thank you. But I mean, does that become a problem ever or not really? It does. It does more often now. I, the thing is, once I did try sleeping with a follower, because I just thought, like, you know, maybe this could be interesting. Yeah, give us and it was, it, it wasn't, it wasn't great. So I kind of, it's, it's a bit embarrassing when people are just like, oh yeah, I can definitely get with you. And I'm like, well, the thing is, you, you know, the amount you're sleeping with people on, on, on this vacation, on this venture in life, surely you get a lot of disappointments because you're used to these amazing, you know, buff Australian guys, maybe someone like Archie, who's, you know, known as the vibrator in Clapham. Oh, yeah, I've got I've got a technique. Um, I mean, we, we probably I don't know whether we'll sleep together because, uh, you know, I it's 
I don't know. But You're too good friends this business, this, but maybe you will. But I have a great technique that I've told, and uh, you could probably tell a lot of the ladies, you know, you need to find a guy like me. But I, what I call is the vibrator. I've talked about it on the podcast before, but what I like to do is I like to lie flat on a girl <laughs> on top of her, and then I just go. <laughs> and and the amount of times there are girls you absolutely love it. Yes. And they... Immediately yeah, because down, I'm, I'm like, I've got low body fat, so you're just feeling this rock hard exterior. But then, because the, I'm athletic, I can, <laughs> I can move quick, uh, and so it's a very pleasurable experience. Does that sound something like you'd be interested in, Kathy? I feel like I've probably slept with a couple of your fans because I feel like I've probably experienced that before. I, they, I did re- release a book a couple of years ago, just how to sleep with ladies. Yeah, and the that vibration. Was, that was one of the tips. Yeah, one of the, the tips. Vibrator. Yeah. Um, but honestly, just give us a you know round figure. You, you're obviously not working a normal job now outside TikTok and uh, OnlyFans. So, are you making more money now than you would do you know if you're working a normal job? Oh yeah, I probably make like more more than I would make in a more normal job in a month. Give us a figure. Come on, flirt with us. Uh, my highest, probably my highest month was around like forty grand. Fuck me! Wow. <laughs> you need you need your investors for your company, don't you? Yeah, I mean, if yeah, you want to, if you want to, well, I've got a number of a number of products. I've got a, an arm of my business called AC Limited. Uh, we are at the moment uh, releasing some children's presents this Christmas. <laughs> uh, one of them is uh, miniature business cards for your toddler to business develop at uh, nursery. <laughs> uh, we've got an inflatable kettlebell to help your child perfect their uh, form. Uh, we also invest in a uh, built-on in a quite a big way. I mean, it's the only. You know, for me, I don't know how much you know about my routine, but I like to wake up, have egg whites built on, uh, some broccoli and some boiled chicken. And I have that four times a day. And it's, yeah. Hey, so I'm, I'm looking for an investor to invest in my, my diet plan, really. <laughs> my, a new book. Yeah, I see you're quite passionate about it. Having sex and having sex on the reg and delivering a good diet, a good chassis. That's what it will be called. Sounds good. James Haskell's keen to invest. He's already told me. Well, well Kelly, were you aware of the C- CCO, the CEO, Archie Curzon before? You must have been. Uh, yeah, because my ex actually used to listen to a podcast, I think. I remember him playing it. So if he's oh, listening, really? hi. Oh, I bet, I bet he's thinking, <laughs> uh-uh, this is... what yeah. you, you complete loser. What's his name? Let's, what's his nickname? <laughs> no, I can't, I can't. Come I can't on. Say. No, he's obviously a rugby boy, isn't he? No, he's a- actually, he fucking is, so yeah. And he used to make me go and, like, spin past with him on fucking Clapham Common during oh, lockdown. Oh, my God. Why would you let him go? He sounds like such a good bloke. I know, but I know. Let's just take a moment. He'll be listening to this podcast yeah, now. He'll second. be sat there. He's probably put on an obscene amount of weight because yeah. he's seen his ex going from strength to strength, becoming yeah. a powerful woman. He's there, sat in his tight Calvin Klein boxer shorts, eating some... Uh, Sainsbury's already cooked chicken on the sofa, probably watching a premiership rugby game while listening to the podcast. And I say, listen, mate, you sad little man. You should have, you should have realized how lucky you were. And now look at you. Yeah. Yeah. chassis has gone. You've got no coin and the chat is zero. Please stop listening to this podcast. We cannot help you any further. Do you live in Clapham? You've hit the nail on the head. You've hit the nail on the head. You're welcome. Do you live in Clapham, Kelly? Uh, no, I don't, but um, I have got, I've probably slept with about half of Clapham, I'm not going to lie. Oh. I've done the walk of shame over Clapham Common. It's a lovely regularly. common to do that. I always find it, it is. a beautiful common. It takes your breath away. You know, it's a lot of a lovely view in the morning when the, the mist is rising up. And it's a, it's a lovely, and you can stop at Pear Tree for a, a Pear Tree Cafe for a nice flat white. And then on yeah. you go. You're just on to Clapham South okay. Common. And there's a tube station here and get the Northern Line all the way down. Northern Line goes into the heart of the city. It's beautiful north. You know, we're, we're looking at redeveloping it, but it's a, a fantastic tube line, I have to say. One of my favourites. Um, well, Kelly, give, give an insight, because most of our listeners are probably middle-class men. What are they like? What is a Clapham boy generally like in bed? Oh, yes, they love they love some rooming. What's rooming? You don't know what rooming is? Well, Kelly, could, could you explain to Archie? It's where <laughs> you bend over and... Uh, my tongue goes in your ass. Does that sound like something you want to explore later? Uh, Not with me. That's just, <laughs> that doesn't sound like rooming. That sounds like something we do on rugby tour. <laughs> um, I didn't even know that had a name. Okay, yeah. great. 
so 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 they love being rimmed by you, Callie, but they don't rim you, as it were. Oh no, they're not really givers; they're more takers. So and so, so it's like they're it's good to hear. It's like they're boarding. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. It's like they're boarding like the school. The same. Their boarding school history is coming out. Yeah. Uh, I think that I think the nice thing is that um, I see Clapham as we are really delivering like a solid. Everyone is the same, and that's what I like. We're like Lego men. We're just we're like a tr- conveyor belt of Lego. High performing, in. consistent. You're all in the work in the city. All love the lash. Love rugby. Love infernos. Get to about thirty five. Out you go to Surrey. Go and live your life. Yeah. But not that exciting in the boudoir then for you, Kelly. I would say, yeah, I would say they're not really givers. They're just takers and they're like, see you later. They're very used to doing that with their parents. It makes sense. (laughs) It makes a lot of sense. Um, RG offered us some weird requests in his DMs. Obviously, he's quite famous now. People asking him to sit on stakes naked. That's how you made a bit of money last Christmas. Um, Shave. uh, Your neighbour shaves you, Albert, the old guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the weirdest requests you've ever had, Kelly? Come on, just give us a couple. There must be some really, really Uh... great... I've had loads. Like the other day, someone asked me to put apple sauce on my vagina and let their their log their their dog lick it off. Um, uh, were they going to pay you for that, or? Oh, they just asked me to film it. I don't know. I didn't ask for a price because I thought that's a bit too far. That is a bit, yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, unless yeah. you're like, unless you're like having, unless like you're on the piss and like it's a mate. Yeah, then it's just then there's nothing wrong. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah. Like even if you had done it, I'm not saying, but you know that's that's quite funny. Actually. Yeah, but you nearly got rabies the other day. I haven't done it. I haven't done. It. I'm sorry, mate. Yes. You, yeah, Kelly, you nearly got rabies from a dog, so you're probably not that attracted to put apple sauce on your vagina and get a, a dog to lick it. No, no, no. A, a couple of other weird requests you've got. Oh, things like, oh, would you let me piss in your mouth? Um, which I have actually done this holiday. Somebody's pissed in my mouth. Was it good? Um, yeah, it was actually better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's to not be honest, bad. You, well, you it's not bad. It's just, like more apple juice. Right, okay. We have a game uh, at like, the end of the season cool. where everyone takes a turn to piss in the cup and then loses that. It's great. It's cool. It's refreshing. It's actually good for you. <laughs> okay, electrolytes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. So, so, so that was an enjoyable experience. Any, any other weird ones this trip or before? Oh, that's most of, that's most, like, I, I couldn't even think. I just get so many stupid requests a day. Like, or somebody like, yeah, just loads to do with poo and just weird things like that. Like, would you send me your, your tissue paper that has poo in it? Or would you send me a picture of, like, the, the bit of the thong that sits between your arse cheeks and things like that? What, they want you to cut that bit out, like, particularly? Yeah, just send it. Wow, that's quite niche. <laughs> Incredible. Can, can, I ask, can I ask a question? Like, obviously you've been doing this for quite some time. Do you find yeah. that the majority of your conversations are around sex? And in a way, does that like does that not like put you off? Because I guess like, you know, it's like a job for you now. Or like, is it like refreshing when someone just asks you questions that don't relate to sex? Or do you just find that majority of your conversations are sexual? Yeah, I mean, the the majority are sexual and I'm see, like my life does revolve around sex anyway. Like it's my job. But if I'm going out on the weekend, like on a Thursday, I am on the pool. Like and that's yeah. not really my job. I just I'm horny. Yeah, so, you're horny. Um, but yeah. And like if people's like, what's your hobby? I don't really have it other than what I do, like things like that. But it's, it's like thing is, if I go on a date and someone's like, so what's, what's your favorite song? I'm like, oh, right. That this is a bit different kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you're like, let's talk about something dirty. Um, but, yeah. but, but if you if you came back from a night out, let's say on your trips now in Australia, if you came back from a night out and you hadn't pulled, you weren't having sex, like what would the evening entail for yourself? Is it straight to bed or is it like you have to get your, your kick somehow? Oh, I'd probably order some chicken wings. Yeah, wow. That's it. That's, what that's you do. the yeah, sexiest that's thing I, you said. Or, if it, <laughs> or like, if I've, unless I've gone on to Hinge and I've been like, oh, like, I'll invite someone over, but if if that is the last resort, I'll just literally sit in bed with some chicken wings. There's nothing better than going back and having some chicken. Let me tell you, I absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> we my, 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 I find that almost as good as sex. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I get back, I boil a chicken, peel that skin off, <laughs> off you get skin, and then you shred up the chicken. Oh yeah, baby. A bit of and a little bit of olive oil, and then you sit on the sofa naked. That's the best way to enjoy a chicken. Agreed. And then 
take it down. And you know that you're getting all your nutrients, all your protein, but it's a little bit naughty to be eating past 12 o'clock because your digestion, you want in the morning, you'll be waking up with a little bit bloated. <laughs> I like to fast, but you know, I don't like to eat later than eight o'clock. So I like that fresh feeling in the morning, just hot. But yeah, there's something uh, it's at Christmas time. I find myself after Christmas dinner, just going downstairs. Everyone's gone to sleep and I just be me and a chicken. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me know let me know if you ever want to come and just have some chicken it'd be, oh yeah it'd be that'll fun. be my end that'll be my last resort okay cool that'd be amazing <laughs> kelly i know you can't speak about a certain couple of men you've encountered in your life yeah uh, legally um but were you not once hypnotized can you can you talk about that or not yes i can talk about that yeah um, so before I did OnlyFans, I was on this website called My Girl Fund, and it's basically like OnlyFans where people ask you to do with things. Like I've had someone ask me to pretend that they're a dog and treat them like a dog, tell them to like stop being a bad boy and things like that. Um, but somebody once asked me to uh, if they could hypnotize me. So I was like, yeah, sure. Like he's not really going to do anything, but you know, but he's but who the fuck has got a kink for hypnotism anyway? So I like just. Like went online, we did a video call, and um, I don't know, maybe he did hypnotize me. I don't know. We, we, like, what, we, what happened? Well, I don't really. Obviously, I just remember, you know, him saying some stuff, and then, and then it ended. But like, who knows? Maybe in between that, I did go under. Whoa. That is so. Did, 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 were, were you clothed when you sort of came back around or not? I was, yeah, but maybe he told me to put my clothes back on. I've got no idea. Like, I, oh, nothing. Maybe nothing happened, and it I was can't just remember like, anything. yeah. So it, maybe somebody out there might have a very weird video of me pretending Ooh. to be a chicken or something. It, it sounds like many people might have quite a weird video of you <laughs> in, in a roundabout yeah. way. One hundred percent. But Kelly, obviously, you've got all these, you know, incredible amount of followers on different platforms. Archie, not as many followers you've got. Well, no. sorry, she's got way more followers than you. You don't have as many followers, but yeah. you do have a lot of famous people following you. Yep. So, Kelly, who are the most famous people you've sort of interacted with via OnlyFans DM? Hint: Are you on Raya? You must be on Raya. Oh, I'm on Raya. Yeah, but I just couldn't find anybody on there. I got bored. Really? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you just want to no, click football. connection. Fuck. Let's crack on, right? Yeah. Yeah. exactly you'd be Not phenomenal really in the business it. world you really would like that yeah you want it yeah now. if you ever decide to give up any fans give me a shout on linkedin and i'll get you a job in my office they would love okay. someone like you you, you you'd be smashing it you talk about 40 grand a month you could be doing 100 grand a month in the city oh okay and you'd be happy i tell you we are all <laughs> you're really happy. happy aren't you I'm, I'm probably the happiest person i know yep. i said it before and i said it again i'm the happiest guy i know so, so, so tell us, famous people, Kelly. Honestly, like not really that many people. Like somebody off The Apprentice asked me to have a threesome and that was about it. Who was that? The kind of guy with Lottie brown Lottie. hair? Lottie Lyon. Oh, Lottie Lyon? yeah. I can't, I feel bad saying, but it was a guy with a um sweeping fringe. Oh, I yeah. can't remember his name. I think his name might be like Nick or something. Nick, yeah. Um quite dark. Yeah, no, I know, I know you're talking about. We can um, look him up. Yeah, we, we, can, look we can look him up. Um, but, look him up. But, you know, famous people, obviously Raya is not really working out for you, but yeah. OnlyFans, you would have thought you would have got some, maybe maybe they're hidden behind other names. Maybe they are famous fans, who who, who bloody knows. But Exactly. Have you had any famous uh, sort of relationships with any famous um, you know, tete-a-tetes? Um, well, I'd say the most famous person to follow me is Jack Whitehall. Um, and we have quite a lot of interactions, mainly me going towards him. He hasn't come back to me yet, but he has got a roughly about 20 messages from me. Okay. Um, so it's going well. It's going well. Yeah. So I keep asking requests from him. Okay. Yeah. And he doesn't keep coming back to me. Um, I asked him if I can join him for a threesome with his uh, girlfriend and <laughs> he never came back to me. Well, we're talking threesomes. Have you ever had a threesome? Um... Have I had a threesome? Mm. You should know this. Yeah, I think I have. I yeah. think I have, yeah. You hypnotized, you can't remember. No, no, no. It's just, you know, it's one of those nights. It was more, I mean, a threesome, it, it was like there were seven, seven of us in the bed. Oh, that's more than three. And yeah, it was just like we got back late night. We we're all quite pissed. We all took our clothes off. We we're just sort of, so like a lot of like um, oil was spread over us. And we were in the moment just swimming around on the on the floor um it's hard to remember the exact yeah, details yeah. from when yeah. yeah what about Just seven guys having good fun what about you kelly 
Yeah, I've had many threesomes. My 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 first one was actually I snuck into an army base. Yeah, tell us and, about um, that. Yeah, so basically the night started, I was out on a Wednesday night and like I went into piano works in like Soho or something and I just see all this like mirage of army men and I thought, great, this is where I'm supposed to be. Um, I started speaking to this one and he's really fit. I got really drunk, went to the toilet, came back out and I started talking to a different one, an uglier one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <That's so well. laughs> an uglier one. And, um, and like... But I thought that they were the same person. So I went home with the ugly one. And then his friend's calling him on the phone, like, hey, like, you've just stolen my bird. And he was like, oh. So I was like, you know what? Tell him to come and we'll just have a threesome. By this time, I'd already snuck into the army base. Um, And we had a threesome. And then I was kind of trying to sleep in this little, like, tiny bed. And all I could hear was, like, you know, people getting ready for the morning, like, bashing around, like, I don't know, getting ready for war or whatever they do. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then... And then I had to do the walk of shame out of the army base. And obviously I stuck out like a sore thumb, but it's like a whole village in there. They've got like a fucking library, a shop, a hairdressers. You'd never have to leave. So so you've got a thing for for, for the men in uniform? Yes. And I and then when I went to Ibiza and had a threesome with another um, set of army men what? in a sex hotel. Ooh. Wow. Is, yeah. it, is that the most you've had a threesome? Well, what's the highest number? I mean, you've had seven, so uh, can you beat Archie? I've had, I've had four, oh. four, including. Oh, it's not four, as interesting. Okay, it's not as and interesting. is there kind? Of, what What do you look for in a man? What is it that you know? If yeah. If you were if you're looking for a couple of things in a man that would say, okay, this guy is good to go on my face for OnlyFans. What is it? Um, I usually go for like the loudest person in the room, like who, whoever who kind of matched my energy. Yep. So yep. tick for you. Yeah. Um, I think you guys would be a great match. Yeah. yeah. It'd be, it'd be we too, much, be too much chat. Uh, yeah. too not, much not, chat. Enough, not enough sex. It would be too much chat. Not enough coin. By the Actually, time, way but, too much coin. Too much, too much coin, too much, chat. too much chat. And by the time we got to go and do the deed, we'd be bloody exhausted because we'd be still, <laughs> still, like, we have chatted all day. You'd be like, we'd all be like a married couple. We'd be like, should we just do it in the morning? Should we do yeah, it in the let's morning? just watch some TV. Let's just have some chicken and sit and <laughs> chill out. Um, is, but yeah, I usually just go for the loudest person in the room, to be honest. Um, okay. Obviously, apps, Rare hasn't worked. Hinge works a bit. But what about LinkedIn? I've, uh, I read somewhere that you use LinkedIn. Oh, well... I used to I used to be a recruiter, so I used to use LinkedIn. Like I used to be one of those fuckers that absolutely loved LinkedIn. And oh. one day I would love to post on there. It's like my one thousand like. No, I think I think I've got like five thousand people on there being like, oh yeah, love my new job role. It's allowing me to like work remotely. It's someone only fans content creator. <laughs> See if I get any subscribers from them. I'm sure you um, would. Yeah, I reckon I would, but I, I don't know what their um what their rules are about that but i do want to do it let my, all my old bosses know they probably subscribe as well um but no once this guy like he was from clapham actually he um once like we were dating and he one day he just turned around he's like you've daddy issues don't you because your dad died and i was like well yeah but you don't need to state the obvious like, i know that and i like to say it but you don't need to tell me that so I cut him off and I blocked him on everything. And um, he reached back out to me on LinkedIn like three years later, being like, hey, I'm really sorry for um, everything that happened back then. And I was like, oh, right. So I'm really playing on your mind. <laughs> she oh reached out to me on LinkedIn. Jesus Christ. What, what a strange guy coming back three years later. But I mean, I love the format. For me, LinkedIn is the, the premier dating app. You know, I actually love LinkedIn. It's a shame that you've given up recruitment because... I think there is something quite magnificent about being in the city and absolutely melting the phones. Um, you know, a lot of guys I know who work in the city, having that power hour is just really good fun. You get together as a team and you're like, right, guys, 11 to 12, let's make try and make over 200 calls. And you're just and it's just brilliant. And you must you must miss it. You must miss it. You do. You miss it. I can't say I do. Like, oh, I feel like that so. power hour, you do it and then everyone goes and has like a wank afterwards or something. Like, it's just... Well, we're talking maybe, about maybe, that. You... I, I do, again, you know, have the same effect. If I'm absolutely, you know, melting those phones, you know, at the end of a long day, I feel rather... You know, when you're hungover, you get a little bit horny. I find after yeah. a long day, connecting, uh, beading and melting the phones, I get home and I'm just 
so yeah i'm ready to go i'm ready to burst um you know but and then i think no no i've got rugby on saturday do not touch and i just sit there in silence just throbbing and i'm just like no 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 and then i and then i, <laughs> uh, I and i i sit down down and then that's it and it's just a, a process and by the time saturday i'm just ready to go i can't wait to put my head on the side and take him down but, and deliver a ruck and it, it just when you get in a ruck you feel that's why I haven't done this but Archie you're known for slipping off from work to the loose with your deep heat and having a bit of you time yeah I love using deep heat I know Kelly you get quite a lot of messages from your fans saying they watch your content at work do you, yes. do, when you work in recruitment did you ever slip off like the gens do do you still slip off like McCallie may have done is wanking at the workplace acceptable I, I... <sighs> I mean, I think it's fine. Like, it's a stress buster, you know? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, you know, when we're in December now, it's busy. I'm with clients. I can get exhausted. And sometimes I just need a bit of time to myself. I'll go, I'll get back. I'll go to my desk. It's a little little drawer at the top that I never open unless I'm really stressed. I do the key, pull it out, little tiger bomb out the thing. I hold that in my hand. I'm off. I'm off to the loo, shut the door. And I'm just... I'm away for half an hour. Tiger bomb and, you know, releasing yourself. They're so magical because the smell is great. The feeling is electric. And it's a real, it's like a, it's like a, I'm a celebrity task. Yeah. It takes a good half an hour. Painful. It's painful. But it, by, by the end of it, it's worth it. Well, Kelly? Yeah. I mean, I, I've been tempted before, but I haven't. I haven't actually reached that point. But, Lots of my followers will send me videos of them wanking. They would have printed off my nudes that I've sent them on the work like thing or whatever, and they've gone to the toilet and they're wanking and they've come all over the picture in the in the work toilets. Wow, well, well, that's it. dedication. That's well, great. You know, to- I'm sure their uh, bosses would not be happy about using the printer for those kind I know. of. That it's a lot of you know, yeah. that is. And if you work in you know a, a shared service office, you know. That is money they'll get charged because they only got a certain amount of credit. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually quite a serious thing that you're bringing up. <laughs> that's great commitment. And if you're listening to podcasts, cut it out. Get your own printer at home. Stop messing yep. around. Get back to work, if anything. Um, we're in a we're in a we're in a crisis at the we're moment. We're in a cost living crisis. And and no reason. Everyone's yeah. in the loo wanking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all Kelly's fault. Um, but, but Kelly, on, on your OnlyFans, what is the content? We didn't actually talk about that. Like, if you subscribe, is it just messages and photos, or are you filming scenes with guys? And how much is it? No, um, how much is it? It's thirteen dollars a month. So right really, is that, is that AUD or somehow. USD? Uh, that so it's thirteen USD. Yeah. USD. So okay. that's like what ten pounds. Conversion rate about ten quid, eight quid. Yeah. So really, you know. It, affordable. It, well, we are in a cost of living crisis, but you know, you need something to ease the stress. You know. So, so, so um, what do you get? So you get you get like new pictures. Um, you can get videos sent to oh, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, videos yeah, of videos. me videos. doing myself with my dildos. I do yeah. naked story times. Um, yeah. I can do yeah. JYs and countdowns. Do you know what they are? JYs. No, what are they? That's like a jerk off instruction video. So people like you to tell them like how to wank and like I, at the end you. So somebody wants. Yeah, so so to what would you say? Like, Just give us like ten seconds of a joi. Well, I'd be like, oh, um, you know. So first you say Archie. Let, let's use Archie and yourself yeah, in this. Right, Archie. First, I want you to um get yeah. your right hand. I want you to start stroking that cock for me. Yeah, start yeah. stroking that cock. <laughs> And I want you to imagine that I'm doing it. Like, I don't know, I can't do it. But okay. at okay. the end, you know what? You do a countdown. So you're like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah. And then at the end, you're like, I, well, well if, done. What if I don't have, if I missed a countdown and then you're already saying, well done? You've got to try it. you got to try it. You then you go back again. again and you try again. Yeah. Yeah. The whole that's competitive. I like that. That's good. Yeah, it is. It's it's fun. You know what I used to do is like sometimes I still do it. If I order a takeaway, I'll like um like have a wank and see who's gonna come first. That's actually well, really you good. Or the takeaway. That's a lot of Christmas fun and, and that's actually something people families can do on Boxing Day. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you can order all go what to a separate carry? room and order a delivery, find a good good rating delivery, all go to a separate room. Mum, dad, sister, cousin, auntie, granddad, grandma, children, anyone, off they go, and their last one to come misses it on the delivery. <laughs> yeah. 
that's a really that that's given me a little Christmas cheer. That is. Well, can can you buy your OnlyFans for a friend? So if I wanted to buy Freddie uh, membership to OnlyFans for Christmas, could I do that? I mean, you probably could, but you'd have to like make an account for them. Yeah, oh, probably. That's all right. I don't know. Okay, I'll so write that down. Yeah, you could buy him. A, really you could idea. buy him like a, a special video, like you know me, like eating chicken naked. Oh, okay. Mate, put that down. Yeah, I'll put that down. Put that down. Um, g- Callie, obviously, you know, we like to do discounts for our listeners. We work with, you know, some of the biggest brands in the world, a bit like yourself. Um, but is there a rig biz, you know, discount we could organize for our listeners? Oh yeah, you can have you can have twenty percent off. And if you join, you can get a picture for free of me covered in cum. Oh wow. my god. Rig just use the code rigbiz20. Rigbiz20. It's a great code. Um obviously Merry- most of- Merry Christmas, um, you dirty, filthy animals. Callie, obviously Archie's a semi-professional rugby player. You love the army guys. Not going directly into one story we're not allowed to talk about, but rugby lads, are, you know, they're good, good fun. Any stories with them? Bar the one we're not allowed to talk about? <laughs> um, yes, they're, they're very they're very fun. <laughs> Talking one night stands earlier, Kelly, a previous guest of ours who's got into a bit of trouble recently, Hugo Hammond. Didn't he try it on with you? Bit creepy? Yeah, Um <laughs> He's like slid into my DMs quite a few times, even obviously over here. I've been in Melbourne and he's moved over here now. So he started following me, like liking all my stuff. Basically, I think he was trying to like. He is got sick. Well, I was he like... honestly got no banter and he is a very strange individual. I'm actually disappointed we had him on the podcast. Are you? One of your big regrets. But he did have a blue tick and he was on Love Island. So yeah. thank you for the yeah. new listeners. He's, he's, yeah, he's got no game, I'd say. Yeah, he's had some very strange stories about him, and there's no smoke yeah. without fire. There's no, no smoke it, is fire. True. it is true. I um, mean, why would you move across the world to the other side of the world? I know? have no idea. I have no idea. Why have you done it? Well, I'm only here for holidays. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm only She's joking. Coming back. She's coming I'm back. I'm only joking. <laughs> um, Kelly, obviously, you are becoming, you know, really, really famous now, actually, using TikTok to your advantage, and of course, only fans. But have you had any offers from the sort of the big porn channels? I mean, let's not forget that there's still a lot of respect shown to the likes of Fake Taxi and and the like. So have you had any offers to be in one of their films? And what would an offer from a company like that look like? Yeah, I mean, I I haven't. And right. the thing is, I used to love watching Fake Taxi and stuff like that. Like, I just yeah. think it's like... But you're a fan of Remy. It's such a great concept, you know? Um, but I, I think... They they don't offer that much. I think if you do a video, they literally give you like a thousand pounds or something. And the thing is, because like you don't get to keep the rights for that. Like my OnlyFans stuff, I've got the rights to that. You know, if anybody posts it anywhere, it gets taken down. It's like all copyright. You could get sent to like court for it. But for that, that's out there forever. If I want it deleted, they won't won't delete it because they're making money off it. So it's just a lot of people that do OnlyFans. They will never like go and do you know, a Brazzers video or anything like that. I mean, it's kind of cool to like do that. I'd love to be on a fake taxi, but it's just, um, yeah, not for me. Well, it, 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 when you, when you're saying copyright, so it, at some point in your life, let's say you're done with all this and like, because there is obviously you become famous and sometimes it becomes too much. Can you delete your account and delete the videos and everything like that? And will that cease to exist? Basically. You could do that. Yeah. That's I mean, thing, right? essentially. I mean, yeah, the thing is, like, some people you might still have, like, things here and there, but it won't be able to be on online, you but, know. It might pop up, but it gets but, taken down. In a way, then, like, let's say Antique Show, like, the Antique Show in uh, 50 years in time, you know, they'll be sat there and the guy will be like, oh, look, we've got a lovely photo here. What's... And they'd be like, yeah, that's the... It's the original. Um, there's a little bit of uh, mess here because I had it posted on the yeah. Lou Roll. And, and then the guy would be like, well, sorry, where did you print this off? And he'd be like, "My, I can't really say. Yeah, I can't still, say. still get in trouble. Yeah, it's my office. And he'd be like, well, oh, interesting. It's a bit like interesting. how you're getting into trouble because the Clapham Gazette still own that photo of you from the South Africa tour. The, the, those photos are not me. Okay, okay. I am. I'm okay. much better at well indulged. Like you're, I, could, you're better I could get yeah. a hand around there. Right. Okay. Yeah, erect. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, and that photo clearly showed I couldn't. So I don't know. Whoever can they? Someone's posting these videos, photos of me, and it looks like me. It's not me. Okay. I am like honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. T- tell the guys the rugby you're packing. Car. Yeah. And there's a reason why sometimes I wear budgie smugglers when I shower, just because I, I find it more comfortable. You like the I'm pencil. very comfortable being naked. Okay. Trust me. Okay. I, I, yeah. Okay. Um, Kelly, I'm not angry about it, but no, it's, no, it's, 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 it's Sorry for bringing it up. Sorry for bringing it up. Sorry. So, okay. Thanks. Um, 
obviously you want to get into to, to porn with fake taxi and stuff. So how come you haven't done the porn on your on your OnlyFans? Is that the next step? You're going to the new year? Yeah, it will be. I am thinking like I'm going to end the year with a bang. Um, okay, go g- g- give an insight. The right wow. person, you know, yeah. Hugo Hammond, he's out there. Hugo Hammond, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't right. think he. I yeah. think he wouldn't. He'd move like a stick. Like he probably doesn't even know what to do. You know. <laughs> he wouldn't know how to. <laughs> he couldn't he do, the have, to do the vibrator. Exactly. <laughs> um, Kelly, uh, sorry, Kelly, you, you, re- you. Archie, yeah, let's yeah, get I'm let's gonna, make it happen. We had a Christmas number one two years ago. Toy. Let's go out with a bang. Honestly, I would I would love to do the vibrator, but the problem is, if once people see it, then I can't copyright that, and that's <laughs> the problem. Then we we're, yeah. we're stuffed. We're stuffed, and next thing you know, it's a craze, and everyone on TikTok is. <laughs> moving around like that and then what is to say it's a gift i can't give my children. you can't monetize it yeah probably. i can't monetize that that you know people are going to see this already yeah yeah know? well kelly before your you know current holiday you were recently on holiday you know you're, you're always traveling living the uh you know sort of yeah. famous lifestyle nowadays but you're on holiday with l brooke i believe right Yes, I was. Who's obviously a well-known uh, OnlyFans lady, uh, model, porn star, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Um, how good. messy did that get? Any good stories coming out of the bit? I, I knew you always had aspirations to sort of have a lesbian, um, you know, tete-a-tete. Did that come to fruition with Miss um, with Miss Brooke? It, unfortunately, it, d- it did not. But oh. who knows? On the horizon, I was too busy getting dick down. Like, I had yeah. this when I had a threesome in a in a sex hotel and it, I lasted I'm not even joking for about probably like six hours wow did you, did you just tell us how that's the full business day well, so, some people. the thing is like this sex hotel it had like in you know like a mini bar usually they've got like you know cans of coke and stuff it had like whips and things like that that you could take out so there was just a lot to um to go through um, how uh, how how did these men last six hours because that's I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, they kept yeah. popping and and starting like, and they wow. were just taking turns and, yeah. I think one of them didn't even end up coming. You, you know what end. would be, they, you know what would be really interesting. Sorry to interrupt, but um, sure. it, I, I one thing I'd love from you, and if I was to subscribe, is I'd love you to wear an eye watch, and love to know how many calories you burn in that six hour session, just out of interest. That's brilliant. I'll put, it, I'll, know, I'll, yeah. I'll put it on one of the guys. I'd just love to know. Maybe I'll subscribe and I'll send you that request. Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah. That Put it through as a custom. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, if, Maybe a little bit of, you know, sauce on the top of that. So I can still, yeah. see, still see clearly the calorie count because that's important. That's the data <laughs> I want. But just a bit of naughtiness around it, just saying we had fun and we burned precisely 2,000 calories. I'd be like, wow, that is a lot of chicken you can eat afterwards. Well, Kelly, we speak to you on a Monday night in Melbourne. Are there plans to go out yeah. tonight? Are there? Is there already a man lined up on Hinge? Well, there are a few, yeah. I might go to this. They do, like, I don't know, some drunk bingo thing. So I'm going to try my luck there. Who knows? Are you, are you a bit of a lightweight? Like, is there a normal routine? I mean, you're always on the tequila uh, um, lemons, right? Tequila, tequila soda water, and, good, tequila tequila soda. Soda water and lime. It mm-hmm. hydrates you, it gets you pissed, and it's good for the chefs. <laughs> yeah, I love a vodka diet cake. Vodka diet cake. So yeah. a couple of those, and then you're horny, ready to go? Yeah, a couple, couple of those. And honestly, I'll have one, and I'm I'm ready. <laughs> Freddie, yeah. you sound incredibly creepy well, no, when I'm you say stuff like that. You, you sound like something from Netflix drama. I'm you sort of sat there, stone cold space. I'm doing an interview for the nation, mate. A little bit drunk, a little bit horny. Yeah. yeah I mean, people. That's... It's quite good. I'm doing an interview for the nation. Yeah, I'm sorry. It is, it is incredible. That's it's why incredible. we work. We're yin and yang. You know? I don't know what's going to happen when you the do camera goes off. Um, let's finish up, Kelly, because you know, we'll let you get to the Trump bingo. And you've been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Um, but to our top tip sort of listeners, you know, there's a little section, we can't do chat or no chat, which is a normal section where we read out 10 of your teammates because you're not a sportsman, even though you do know some wonderful creators, I'm sure. Um, but to our largely majority, you know, male listenership, to the thousands who listen every week, when they're listening at home now, mid-December, thinking, Jesus Christ, another year without any, a bit like you, Arch, another year without any cheekers, another year with not much sex, New Year's coming, I've got to set some goals. What are the three things they could do in the boudoir to broaden their horizons and put a smile on either their partner's face or re- even lighten up their own world. What you know, just to finish up. Um, you know what? <sighs> Let me have a little think. There's it to put a, a smile on a girl's face. I'd say you've got to use the 
obviously the vibrating effects, but you also, I'd say, do the old what I did and put a dildo in the art in your art in the girl's yes. ass. Write that down. Put a dildo in the girl's ass. Write that down because it feels great as well because you can feel the double penetration. You can feel the dildo on your dick. On the what kind of, of the size are we talking? Well, I'm like this. That's what. Jesus, that's okay. a good solid what nine inches. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a good solid, sort of nine inches. Um, okay. that, yeah, that's nice going to really spice that up. Yeah. Um, you, you know, rimming is, is great. As rimming. the Clapham boys love. Write that down. Rimming. That's a good one. Rimming. Yeah. And, um, you know, why don't you just subscribe to my OnlyFans and yeah. I'll and I'll finish you off. And she'll finish you off OnlyFans. Only You're fans. counting yeah. you down from 10. You can be a couple I'll and a so- Couple or a solo artist. So, Callie, for those listening, what is your sort of? How do they get on your OnlyFans? Is it Callie Sluzer? It's Callie Sluzer. Yeah, just type in OnlyFans, Callie Sluzer. OnlyFans, oh. Callie Sluzer, and you can subscribe for about eight quid a week, and she will do everything: countdowns, count ups. Oh yeah. Just, just anything you want. Custom made videos, shots of iPhone, uh, iWatches. If you shots want, of iWatches, set, calorie yeah, counts, Apple Watch, chicken, Apple Watch, if everything. You, if you want to send. Callie and Apple Watch. Some people might, I don't know, those people, it's probably, probably, probably will, successful yeah. people who are really good looking, you know, great hair, top lip bands, people like that will want to send an Apple Watch yep. and just know on a daily basis. In a non-creepy way. Not in a creepy way. Not yep. in a creepy way. In a, in a, in a scientific yeah, way yeah, yeah. To, for data. Yeah. Well, Callie, you have yeah. been absolutely incredible. Thank you. Hopefully, much. you know, we can in, in, enjoy your incredible work. Hopefully you and Archie can meet up in the new year. Yeah, we, we, you know, love wish to you, have some chicken. Love to have some chicken. Please. Wish you a happy Christmas and best of luck. And hopefully we use that RigBiz20, guys, to get 20% off this incredible yeah. content oh, creators yeah. account. Callie, love thank you so much. Champagne. Love and champagne.